Hey guys, Jack from Afro. Today I've got the iFlight Cinebee. This is a 75mm whoop. Uh, it's a pretty interesting little drone. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, show you some FPV video, we'll do an unboxing, and I'll compare it to the Beta 85X that is also an HD Cinewhoop. So, uh, let's check it out. Got my iFlight FPV race drone. Let's take a look at what we get in the box. Got a Catex camera remote control. Nice stickers. Drone itself. You can see that the uh, rear ducts are actually closer than the front ducts. And our tri blade propellers. Camera. Nice bottom plate. Looks good. 1103 10,000 kV motors. XT30 connector mount for the uh, antennas in the back. Caddx turtle. Battery mount on the top. This is 2S or 3S. Four blade props. People say that these will create less jello, so I'm going to go ahead and put those on. Our iFlight battery connector and some other hardware. That's what you get in the box. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this iFlight Cinewoop. So, it's a 75 millimeter quad, like I've said before. Uh, I had to change this little strap here because I wanted to try it on a 3S battery, although I think 2S is the way to go. You have two different kinds of props. I went with the four blade props because they give you a little bit less jello than the three blades. They don't look nearly as cool, but they work a little bit better. Um, you're not going to really need to angle this a whole lot because doesn't do a great job of flying acro. Yes, you can fly it acro, and actually, I fly acro. Uh, I prefer that than uh, stabilized mode, but uh, that's really more of a personal preference because I kind of like uh, the way that you can get kind of some smooth transitions and some neat um, cinematic stuff with, uh, with flying acro versus stabilized, although uh, I could totally see buying one of these to fly stabilized to get smooth HD footage. Um, you know, the only other real comparison I have for it right now is this. This is the Beta 85X. It's a larger uh, quad, obviously. Um, and they're both good. They have the same, basically the same camera. That's the Caddx Turtle. Um, you know, so, you know, there's not a whole lot of difference in terms of quality. Except I got a lot less jello in this guy. Um, I kind of like the smaller form factor. A little piece of grass there um, and I do like mounting the battery on top because when I land uh, I don't have issues now this guy a um, couple other things that are nice is this little uh, thing to hold the uh, battery I'm sorry the uh, SD card in place that's nice um, but really this the form factor the small form factor is something that I really do enjoy on this guy um, because you can hit smaller gaps so if you're looking for something to get some smooth cinematic footage HD. This is your drone, right? Um, it's pretty darn solid. Now I've got a Mobula 7 HD on the way, so I, I'm, I'm anxious to compare this to that. Um, I, I suspect they're going to be fairly similar um, since they're about the same size and roughly the same weight. Actually, I think the Mobula is a little bit lighter. Um, when you're looking for something to rip around and get HD video, this is not the thing. Really, none of these are really your options for that. That, that just doesn't exist yet. I think in time that it will, um, but it's going to take, take some work. Um, really, I think what we need um, is we need to make this bigger. We need bigger props because there just isn't enough thrust that we can generate. Uh, I think these motors actually might be okay, but... Um, these small props just aren't going to generate enough thrust. Um, it is kind of difficult to moderate your throttle on actually both of these machines, unlike something like this. But, you know, these are super darn light, so uh, it's almost not fair comparing it. Now, one thing that I, I did get a Spectrum receiver, which, you know, gosh, um, you know, I, I bound it to this with my Tyrannus with the multi-protocol module, but... Uh, the more I do that, the less I actually like doing it. Um, the multi-protocol multi -protocol modules, you know, it just takes a little bit of extra time to make things work 
the way that you need to, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So um, the more I think about it, the less I like that, you know, uh, there's no reason to not just get the FR Sky version um, and to make it simple, keep it, uh, keep it easy, right? So, uh, hey, but uh, really, let's take a look at some of this HD footage. Uh, I've been showing it in the background. You can take a look at it here. Uh, but really, it's not bad. Uh, you do get a tiny bit of jello. Now, I do have some ND filters from Cadex on the way. So, hopefully, that will help. Um, but time will tell. We'll see if it really does. Um, I think it will a little bit. Um, I, I got less jello in this 75 millimeter Cinebe than I did on the larger beta. On the larger beta uh, 85x so you know there's a bonus there plus a smaller size um, you know I've been running on 3s batteries because my 2s batteries uh, well I just need better ones so <laughs> I got some of those on order so I'm going to take it back up I uh, want to get those 2s batteries to really put it through the test but this guy this Cinebe is really pretty darn nice for what it's supposed to be right smooth aerial footage tight spaces lightweight hard to beat so if you're looking for something fun to take uh, smooth aerial footage in HD maybe get a you know an acro whoop here or there then this Cinebe is a good option for you hey hope you like this video uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out on halfchrome.com and you know what um, let me know what do you think do you have one of these do you have a uh, Beta 85X? Do you have a Mobula 7? Which do you like? You know, I'm going to compare all three of them, but I want to know what you think. So, shoot me a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy flying.